Police in Virginia arresting a student in the shooting deaths of three University of Virginia football players, ending a 12-hour long manhunt that put that campus on lockdown. The gunman, Christopher Darnell Jones Jr., is also a former member of the team. Investigators say he shot and killed three of his former teammates, injured two other students, as they arrived back to campus from a field trip. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live for us on UVA's campus. And Evan, do we know anything at this point about a motive? Nicole, no, that is what university police are trying to figure out right now. What is also unclear is the relationship between the suspected shooter and the victims. We do know at one point they were all on the same UVA football team before those gunshots rang out behind me ending with three student athletes dead. Grief, shock, and disbelief enveloping the campus of the University of Virginia Monday, just hours after a gunman and student opened fire on a bus, killing three UVA football players and injuring two other students Sunday night. The shooting and manhunt sending the campus and surrounding community into lockdown for hours. Pardon me. Until news came of the suspected shooter's capture while officials were updating the public live. We just received information the suspect is in custody. The suspect, officials say, is a fellow student and former member of the football team, Christopher Darnell Jones, 22, of Virginia. Among the dead, wide receiver and NFL prospect Lavelle Davis Jr. of South Carolina, fellow wide receiver Devin Chandler of Virginia Beach, and linebacker Deshaun Perry of Miami, Florida. In a tweet, coach Sean Lampkin of Newberry College in South Carolina shared photos of his cousin, Lavelle Davis Jr., saying, quote, God took one of his most kind, humble, loving soldiers off the battlefield last night. Please pray for my family as we are devastated. University police say Davis Jr. was rushed to the hospital where he died. The bodies of Devin and Deshaun, as President Ryan indicated, were found inside a charter bus where they had been for the day enjoying school activity, having a meal together, and coming back to our grounds. And someone amongst them chose to do an act of violence. And we found them dead inside that bus. And for hours, we had to process a crime scene. In September, the university says its threat assessment team learned Jones, the suspected shooter, told someone he had a gun. But before Sunday, the statement hadn't amounted to a crime or any charges. The motive for the deadly shooting that continues to rattle families and the entire campus remains unclear. And condolences are coming in from the SEC, from college teams all across the country. We should note that Jones is facing three murder charges tonight, and we just learned that classes will be canceled again here tomorrow as the university plans a vigil. Nicole. Yeah, such a tragedy. Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.